Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. I've not made a video for a while, and you're thinking to yourself, Julian, Julian, we've missed you. What is the problem? Is it creative burnout like all those other cycling YouTubers, or is it some other reason? Well, if you watched the last few videos that I did make some, uh, some years ago, you will notice, uh, or you will know, that I had uh, an operation on both of my eyes. These are my eyes here. Now, I can't see my eyes and I can't actually see them on the screen either so I'm pointing at what I think is my eyes although they could be down here and I had what is known as a cataract operation. A cataract operation is supposed to be a miracle operation that cures uh, your sight once and for all and means you can see perfectly but you know that old saying where the operation went perfectly but the patient died well I was the patient that died because I cannot see a fucking Thing. Now, if I occasionally glance over there, it's not because I think the camera is there, and it's not because I think the camera is there either. It's because I don't know where the camera is because I can't see anything. Now, you're thinking to yourself, well, not being able to see is a pretty poor excuse for not making a video, Julian, and I agree with you. So maybe it was a little bit of creative burnout, but I'm back. Yes, I'm back. I'm wearing the hat. And for those of you who've not watched one of my videos for a couple of years because there hasn't been anything, you're thinking, why is he wearing a hat? It's because I'm doing an unboxing. Now, this is actually uh, an item that I previously unboxed, but I could not put it together. And I roped in a friend of mine and said, can you do this for me? Because I can't read the instructions. And the fact is, she couldn't do it either. So, folks, it's not just old age. It's not just being able to not see with these eyes down here or here. It's something else entirely. So what is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is, because we may not actually put the thing together. It is a fire pit. Yes. Now you're thinking, well, that's a pretty small fire pit. Well, it is a pretty small fire pit, and it's designed like for the camper van to go bikepacking or something like that. And I was reading the reviews on Amazon, and apparently, uh, back in the 14th century, at the height of the Spanish Inquisition, they used to use these mobile fire pits in order to uh, burn the heretics. So they would they would order their fire pits from Amazon, as I did, and one assumes uh, they were able to put them together. So you know, imagine the scene. Okay, there's a group of inquisitors. I, d I don't know how many. Let's say there's there's half a dozen of them, and they have they have a chef with them, maybe maybe a driver, a couple of porters. I don't know, and they rock up at some village in Spain, and the head. The head inquisitor, uh, his name is uh, Abbot Miguel. Okay, Abbot Miguel says, "Okay, brother Alfonso, where's the fire pit?" And Alfonso says, "Well, I haven't got it." He says, "What do you mean you haven't got it? It says here, right? It says here on the spreadsheet, Wednesday, Alfonso is fire pit monitor." And Alfonso says, "Today is Thursday." And the lead abbot says, you know, you're right. And Alfonso says, I gave the fire pit to Ignatius. Right. So they say, right, Ignatius, where is the fire pit? And he says, what fire pit? And they say, look, look, don't mess about, right? We're on heretic burning duty. You are in charge of the fire pit. If we haven't got a fire pit, we can't burn any fucking heretics. What have you done with it? And he says, he says, I was cold. He said, I was, I was cold. So I, you know, I, I burnt it. What do you mean you burnt it? You can't burn a fire pit. A fire pit is where you burn heretics. You can't burn the fire pit. Well, you know, the, the, the fire was going out. We've, we've run out of heretics. I thought, you know, chuck on the, the, the fire pit. Oh, for Christ's sake. Well, you know, they, so they get, they get their phones out. <laughs> right. Who can get a signal? <laughs> and, um, um, Miguel, right? I've run out of Spanish names. <laughs> I've run out of Spanish names. So Miguel, this is another Miguel, not, not the lead Miguel. Miguel says, I've got a signal. He says, I'll, I'll get on Amazon, right? And you can get it via, what, what's it called? Get here, right? So they, they order the fire pit. A couple of hours later, you know, a guy turns up on a moped. And he says, there he is, he's got the fire pit. This is right, okay, we've got the fire pit. 
And uh, the first thing we need to do, well, the first thing we need to do, of course, is get some heretics. But there's always heretics around when you need them, aren't they? So, so they say, okay, let's let's get it out and let's let's oh let's let's, let's put it together. All right. So this is where right this is where it gets complicated because right, I'm going to show you right, there is. There is this, okay, and I mean I can understand the principle, right? There's here's, okay, here's legs which have got like a rubber foot on them. So I'm going to assume that one of them goes, okay, that goes in there, okay? So that, here's another one with a rubber foot. So that goes in there like that, and that goes in there like that, and when my friend was was trying to put it together, okay, um, she said there's a there's a bolt and a screw missing, right? So let me see. One of these sticks. All right, look. Here's that stick. This stick has got a hole in it. So I'm going to say that you put that through there. Can you see what I'm doing? And then you put the nut on the other end, okay, like this. And and you can imagine, like, while they're doing this, of course, all the, all the heretics are just kind of, you know, they're, they're just kind of standing around. And um, Alfonso says to them, I mean, you're, you're hungry, guys? You know, you're, you're thirsty? And he, and he gets them, I don't know, some, some KFC or something and a, and, and a Costa coffee. And they said, yeah, you know, tuck in while you're waiting. You know, it's going to take a bit of while to heat the old, heat the old fire up. So, I wonder if I've done this around the wrong way. So, okay, we... All right, well, let's just assume, just, right, let's assume that I've done that. All right, well, I have done that. And then this stick goes in here all right so does that look about right to you what do you think you see it's i mean it's a bit loose because that's falling apart but you can understand the principle we've now got four sticks left so does a stick oh yeah so a stick goes on there right and a stick goes on there god we're cooking with gas now you <laughs> Imagine Ignatius says, we're cooking with gas. Says, we're not cooking with gas. We're using a fucking fire pit. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, we're not cooking with gas. So, all the sticks. I think I've got this figured out. What, what do you think? Am I going to figure it out? Looks like it's going to fall down. Oh, look, look. See that? You see? So, you've got... I'm going to spin this round so you can see it sort of relatively clearly. All right. So, you've got... I wonder why that's not staying still. Probably because the nut is non tightly enough and you can imagine i mean the heretics are saying you know get, get on with it for fuck's sake you know we we want to get home <laughs> you're not going home mate <laughs> what do you think the fire pit is for the fire pit is for you what <laughs> what nobody told us that so here is right uh, here is this, this is known as the this is known as a heretic trampoline all right so they they put the heretics on the on the trampoline and they kind of jump up and down and on the same sort of principle you know, this, you know the principle about boiling a frog? Do you know this? Um, don't try this at home, kids. Right, if, you, if you put a frog into a, a, a pan of boiling water, the frog will jump out, you see. But if you put the frog into a pan of uh, cold water and uh, put it on to boil, then the, the frog won't realise, you see, because the frogs aren't very bright. And, um, and therefore the frog won't, won't jump out. And what I don't understand about that story is why would you want to boil a frog? I mean, it's, it seems like a rather unpleasant thing to do. So anyway, you, this is, right, I'm putting these. See, I think you put these in here like that. And then you put these over here like that. Right. But the thing to me is they don't kind of, they don't spread out. Right. Can you see that? And and what's to stop this doing what it's doing? Can you can you see that? What's to stop that doing what it's doing? Which is that it kind of it just slips down, doesn't it? So this 
I mean, there's something... I can kind of see the principle, but there's, there's something about the principle that's not working. Does, it, does that make sense to you? So in the, in the centre of here, you'd, you'd put the heretics, okay? And uh, then you'd need some wood, okay? You don't get wood with this, with this package. And you'd need some kindling. And you'd need, I know, I know some little bits of, of, of paper. And you'd, you'd use some fire lighters. So if you can imagine, they, they say to Alfonso, okay, Alfonso, have you got the matches? And he's like, no, I haven't got the matches. What do you mean you haven't got the matches? It says here, your match monitor. It's on the spreadsheet. Now, that was, that was yesterday. Well, who's match monitor today? Well, it's, it's Ignatius. I thought he was in charge of the fire pit. No, no, he's, he's matches as well. Match, uh, anyway, so does that work? Does that work for you? I, I don't think it works for me. I, I mean, for one thing, it's, well, it's sort of solid. But these bits here, I mean, they move, don't they? Why would they move? And why... Why can you just pull it? I mean, it's not expensive, but that's not really the point, is it? I mean, how, I mean, what, what could you do on this? One heretic, two, I mean, three maximum, wouldn't you? I mean, you, a couple of, some burgers, I don't know, some sausages. Could you cook sausages on that? I mean, the thing's just, I mean, it's rubbish, isn't it? Now, it may be that on these, instructions and I'm going to hold these up here so you can see them and in fact you may be able to you see there's a there's a picture there but I can't see the picture it's it's so irritating and there's you see there's a picture right can you see can you see the heretics I mean they're they're, they're burning quite nicely obviously and here I don't know what that's a picture of but it may be the same as another picture actually um, and there's a picture there. Can you see the picture down the bottom? You see, I can't see the picture because I've had this magic, you know, cataract operation. So I'm going to... Was it worth it? Was it worth it? I mean, creative burnout? I mean, you think, you're think you going to think, is that the best you've got, Julian? I mean, you've been away for three months. You've had, you, you've had a prostate biopsy. You had a cancer scare. You had a cataract operation. You've got a hernia, which I've still got, by the way. Um, and this is the best video you can come up with. I mean, at least spend some time, you know, thinking up ideas for Christ's sake. Anyway, uh, that's the fire pit from Amazon. It's around about sixteen ninety nine. I don't know whether I put it together properly, but um, thanks for watching. And I hope the next video is better. See you next time.